So day two update, um, I'm feeling much better. My speech is obviously more clear, although I'm still speaking cur cursive a little bit. Um, this morning I got seen by speech, so I got cleared for swallowing. They haven't done their language assessment yet, but she did a little informal screening. I also got to see OT and PT, which was weird on the other side of things. Uh, we had a chat and had some fun, and they both discharged me because I was moving around really well and walking and doing all my ADLs and everything. Oh, brushing your teeth feels so good, <laughs> even after having not had anything to eat all day the day before. So, um, getting much better. Uh, the results from the scans yesterday showed that I actually had a really, really big clot. It's in the um, deep, deep part of the brain, in the middle cerebral cerebral artery that shouldn't be that hard i know these words uh that the clot was huge and if we hadn't gone to the er white right away and got that medication that dissolves the clot it could have taken out two-thirds of my left hemisphere which means no leg no arm no speech no i saw my face potentially no swallowing no eating it could have been huge so seriously if you know anyone have, who has those signs or you, you ever see them yourself, get your butt to the emergency room stat. <laughs> so good news is we figured out what's going on. We've solved that problem. The bad news is we don't still know why. I had an echocardiogram to look at my heart because that's often the cause. It's a little... Um, a little portal in between the two um, atrium of the heart. So normally when we're bodies make clots, they just do it, and, you know, stuff happens. So normally when they ha that happens, it goes down into the lungs and the uh, capillaries down there filter it out. So it's no big problem. But if you have a little detour, they bypass the filter and go out to the rest of the body, including the brain. That's potentially what happened to me, but they didn't see it the first time. The test that they did the first one on is 60-40. 60 60% 60 of the time they catch it, 40% of the time they can't quite see it. So tomorrow, uh, after another night of nothing by mouth, almost midnight, <sighs> uh, wonderfully uh, the fallback day. So as of 10 o'clock tomorrow, we're going to do a transesophageal echocardiogram. Ah, getting better. Uh, so they'll stick a camera down my throat and from my esophagus look out at the back of my heart. And that's a 90-10. So they're more likely to see if that's what's going on. They'll be more likely to see it. So it sounds weird, but I kind of hope that that's what's going on because I'll have some answers. I'll know what's going on. And more importantly, have a plan that's more effective and keeping this from happening again because that's seriously scary don't want to do this again so any um love and hugs to everyone who's uh been so supportive i love you all and i really appreciate all the well with it well wishes <laughs> and do good do do i've had set my way so thank you all see you tomorrow